I, for the sake of those who will not join the Zoom meeting, I'm just recording it. Uh, I will upload it on the YouTube. And I believe that it's going to be a blessing to them. Today is the third day of our fasting and praying. All of our prayer and fasting. I believe so far you have been having a wonderful time. And I believe you are using the PDF file, using it to pray. I believe you are reading the scripture that I put there. I believe God for a mighty turnaround, a mighty miracles in your life. Quickly, before we pray, I want to just run through why are we praying? What is the reason we are praying? Why are we fasting? Now, there's nine things, nine things. The reason we are praying and we are fasting. Now, the Bible Ask us, like Jesus said, he said, when you pray, when you fast. And he equally said, when you give. And I told us yesterday, there are three, three important things in the life of a Christian. You pray, you fast, you give. Now, when we talk about giving, not necessarily mean only your money, which is very important. The money is important. Every other thing that belongs to you is a gift for others. The anointing of God in your life is a gift for others. Your time is also a gift. All right. Your prayer is also a gift. All right. Your money is also what you give. And Jesus said, Give, and it shall be given unto you. What you give it will return back to you. Press down, shaking together, and running over. It will cause men to give back to your bosom. Hallelujah. And I said number one is for us to humble ourselves before the Lord. Is to humble ourselves before the Lord and ask Him for grace, ask for mercy, ask for favor. And please, and I would like you to do that every day. Ask God for grace, ask God for mercy, ask God for favor. And number two is to ask the Lord to perform mighty acts. When I when I talked about acts, I'm talking about mighty miracles, mighty miracles, unimaginable miracles, unexplainable miracles. Uh, something that will happen in, in your life, people will say, wow. That is the, you know, the Bible says, the children of Israel knew his art, but Moses knew his way. But we are asking God to perform his art in our lives. When God divided the Red Sea, that was the art of God. When Jesus walked on the water, that was the art of God. When Jesus said to Lazarus, come back to life, that was the act of God. When Jesus fed 5,000 men, not including the children and the women and the teenagers, that was the act of God. When he opened the, the blind, that is the act of God. All right? So we are asking God to perform his art. If God perform his art in your life, it might be, what the land you never paid for it will be given to you that is the art of god all right so we are asking god to perform his art and number three is to ask the lord and pray for the reign of salvation the reign of salvation the reign of revival in our city in our home in our continent we ask god for the reign of salvation Number four is to ask God to anoint our lives. Whether you are a businessman, you are a pastor, you are a housewife, you are a teacher, you are a nurse, you're working in the company. When you are anointed to do what you do, you will do it differently the way other people do it. And your world will become excellent because the anointing of the Lord will rub on it. So you ask God for the anointing. Number five is to command 
every demonic and satanic yoke to be broken off from our lives. Every demonic and satanic yoke to be broken off. Hallelujah. From our life, from our destinies, from our career, from our family. Number seven is to seek God direction. To ask God for direction. The Bible says, know your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. And number six is to command a light, a life to shine more brighter. <clears throat> I believe where you are today, this is not where God wants you to be in the next two months, the next three months. Ask your life to shine more brighter. Whatever you are seeing right now in your life or whatever you have right now, I believe God wants you to have more than this. There is more. There is more. There is more. So ask Him for more. Ask the Lord to make you a thousand times better, richer, more wiser, you know, than where you are today. I command the blessing of God to be evident in your life. Command the blessing of God to be evident in your home, in your life, that all we see. And number eight, we are asking you praying for our church and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, bless and build Fountain of Glory Miracle Center. Bless and build Fountain of Glory Miracle Center. And now, by now, is to declare, Lord, let there be light. Let there be prosperity. Let there be promotion. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be supernatural lifting. Let there be sound mind. Let there be peace in my home. Let there be peace in my home. Let there be peace in my home. Divine head, landed property, cars, businesses, expansions. All right? To the singles, let there be marriage. Let there be marriage. That is what we are praying. That is the nine reason why we are doing fasting and praying. And these things, you have to pray it every day. And after you pray that, you go to the two or the three or the four and you pray the prayer point. All right? And after that, take time to listen to what God has to say because God speaks. God speaks. You know, a lot of people say, I want to hear the voice of God. This Saturday, I think I will do a little, a little talk about that. All right, this coming Saturday, I'll do a little talk about that, how to hear the voice of God. Most of us, even in this platform, we are already hearing the voice of God, but we don't design the voice of God. It's one thing for God to speak, it's another thing for you to understand this is God speaking to me. All right. We talked about that on Saturday and it's, it's going to be a wonderful because one of the things, one of the things God have called me to do is to raise up some Sadora who will be an intercessor. And you will see our WhatsApp group. I, 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 I retitled it the Sons of the Prophet. All right. The school of the prophet or the sons of the prophet. All right, the theory. The theory. Now David said, I remain confident of this. I remain confident of this. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I remain confident of this that i will see i kelvin we see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living i don't know what you're going through right now i don't know what you have been through i understand some of us here we have been through a lot if i begin to ask you to tell us what you have been through some of us will be crying is a lot is a lot is a lot but here what david said when david were actually declaring this he was running from saul he was hiding in cave things were difficult he were running from cave to cave 
he has been anointed as a king, but there is a man that is on the throne right now is looking for David to kill. He sent all the higher assassins. They are looking for David to kill. And then David said, I remain confident of this. I will see. I will see. I will see. I will see. What will you see, David? I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What are you going through right now? Say to yourself, regardless what I'm going through right now, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of Taiwan. Regardless the kind of ministry that I'm seeing right now, I will see that I will pastor a mega church in Taiwan. Maybe you are indebted right now. I will see that all my debt will be wiped out and I will see millions of dollars in my account. I will see the goodness of the Lord. I want you to picture it in your heart right now as we begin to pray and say, Lord, in South Africa, in Cameroon, in the United Kingdom, in America, wherever you're joining us from, in Nigeria, in Taiwan, I believe I will see the goodness of the Lord in my life. I will see the goodness. I will see the goodness of the Lord in this nation. I will see the goodness of the Lord in this nation. I will see it. I will experience it. I will experience it. Can we pray together right now? Will you open your mouth and pray? Will you bless his name? Give him the praise, give him the glory, give him the honor, give him the adoration. <laughs> Just declare that in the name of Jesus, you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living whether the devil devil like it or yes the goodness and the mercy of god will speaks for you the bible say if you are willing and obedient you will eat the good of the land whether the devil like it or yes you will see the goodness of the law in that land where you live in that city where you live if you live in jamaica if you live uh, in Trinidad and Tobago, if you live in Canada, wherever you live, you live in Belgium, in Italy, in France, wherever you live, in the name of Jesus, you will see and experience the best of God. The best of God will come to you. The best of God will come to you. The best of God, the best of Yahweh, the best of your father will come to you the best of God in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now the first prayer we are taking today, we just read uh, the scripture Psalm 27 verse uh, 13. Now we are going to pray, take our prayer point. The first prayer is written in your PDF file. If you are having your PDF file with you, it's written there. And I believe everybody have the PDF file. And if you have the if you don't have the PDF file, say yes, 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 yes. And if you have the PDF file, say I have, 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 I have my, I have my miracle PDF file. Can you say that? I have my miracle PDF file. Come on, let's say it. I have my miracle PDF file. I have, yes, I have. I have, I have my beautiful PDF file. I have my miracle PDF file. <laughs> <I have> <laughs> 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 
It is beautiful. I it is. P D F I. <laughs> PDFI. Yeah, I have my miracle yeah. PDFI. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. We are going to remember today is day three. And mm -hmm. taking the first prayer point. The first prayer point says, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that my God is doing awesomely awesome things in my life, in my family. The Lord is doing awesomely awesome things, many wonderful things, great things in my life, in my family. I prophesy that 2022 is doing me well. I affirm that I am experiencing great help, supernatural help because my God has surrounded me with good destiny helpers. Therefore, I affirm that help come to me from far and from near mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. The scripture for that is taken from the book of First Chronicle 12, verse 22. First Chronicle 12, Verse 22, if you read that place, the Bible says, day by day, men came to help David. Day by day. <clears throat> that is to say, for, a, for instance, today, people will come and help him. Tomorrow, another set of people will come. Not that the people that came yesterday left him. No, other people come to join them. Other people mm -hmm. came to join them. So David have or has thousands of millions of helpers, those that help him. The Bible says, David now have an army like the army of the Lord. And those are the people that help David to turn back the kingdom to him. Those are people that help David to succeed in life. Now, you need helpers that will make you to succeed in life. Hallelujah. If you don't have a helper, things might be difficult for you. If you don't have a helper, there are some certain things you don't know how to do. There are some certain things that your helper will just show you. If you have a helper, your life will become easier. The journey to your destination, your journey to your successful world that you, that you desire, becomes easy. It becomes easy. And that is why we are praying this prayer right now. Say, Father, in the name of, Father, Jesus, the name of Jesus, I declare that my God I is doing that my God. The Lord is doing awesomely awesome things awesome. In, me, in my family, in, in my, my life, family, in my ministry, in my, life, in my business, in my, in my career, in my relationship, in my job. My Lord is my doing awesomely awesome things in my life. In the name of Jesus. And you say, I prophesy. I prophesy I prophesy. I prophesy. Doing me well. I prophesy that 2022. I affirm that I am experiencing great help. That I am experiencing good help. Experiencing great help. Supernatural help. Supernatural help. Because my God has surrounded me with great helpers. Destiny helpers. Surrounded me with great helpers. Destiny helpers. And you declare that you are not going to lack help this year. Help come to you. From I'm not going to lack from west, anything. This from year. north, from help south. Come to help west. come to you. South. Help come to you. Help come to you. Help, help come to me. me. Help come help to me. Come to you. Help from come east, to me. north, west, and south. Help come west to me. South. Help east, come to north, me. West and south. Help come to you from east, yes. north, east, west, north, south. west help south. come to you come in the name of Jesus. Help in come the name to you. You receive help. Supernatural, 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 supernatural help in the name of Jesus. Receive help. Supernatural, supernatural, 
mighty help, glorious help in the name of Jesus. Help the come to you from the east, from the north, from, from, from the south. Help come to you from me, from God. Help come to you. You receive help. help. I receive help. Of Jesus Christ. Number two prayer, the second prayer point we are praying today, and everything we are saying right now, we are praying is written on your PDF file. If you don't have it, you go to our WhatsApp group. I put it there, or you can ask me to send it to you. I will do so. Hallelujah. Now, read number two. We are praying this prayer. Say, Father, I am, uh, I am overdue. I am overdue, O oh Lord, for a divine, divine visitation. I am overdue. I am oh overdue. Lord, for a divine I am overdue. And you ask, Lord, visit me and change me. my life. Visit me and my change life. my life. Visit me. Visit change me. my life. Change my life. Change my family change business. Family. Change my business. Change my ministry forever. Change, forever. My change. change my life. 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 The Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah. And the Lord did for Sarah what he promised her. The Lord visited Sarah. And the Lord do or did for Sarah what he promised her. The Lord visited Sarah. It does not stop there. The Lord do for Sarah what he promised her. Now, when God visits you, he don't leave you the same way he met you. He changed your life. He changed your circumstances. When the Lord visited Sarah, the story changed from Barry to a mother of Isaac. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, she was Barry. The other day, she celebrating and said, the Lord bring me laughter yes. we know the story of 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 sarah and now we are saying my father i want you to visit me visit me because you are already you you are overdue for a divine visit. you are overdue for so pray this prayer right now every one of you i want you to unmute yourself and pray this prayer right now and say with me Father, I am overdue. Father, I am, I am overdue, overdue, Lord, for a divine Lord, visitation. For divine visitations. Lord, visit, Lord, visit me and change my life, my family, my business, and my ministry forever, Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My career will ask the Lord to change my life. My career will ask the Lord to change my life. My Lord, I'm overdue, my Lord, for the Lord. Change my life. 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 Change my ministry. Change my life. Change my ministry. Change my life. Change my life. Change my life. Change my life. I change my life.
And now we are going to pray. Number three, you are going to say, Father, I prophesy that this year my God has ordained me. My God has ordained me for greatness, for honor. Therefore, I am destined to experience the full manifestations of God's blessings, of God's abundant blessing and surprise ordained by the Lord for me my family, my church, my business, whatever it is, just begin to declare you are ordained for honor, for greatness, for honor. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 71, verse 21, this is David crying out to the Lord. He said, he said increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Increase my greatness. David was great, and he said to the Lord, I want you to increase it. Amen. I want you to increase it. Ask the Lord to increase your influence, to increase Amen. your influence, to increase you on every side, to increase you a thousand times. On every side, on every side, Lord, as we pray, comfort us on every side, comfort us, comfort me, my God, and increase us, increase us, increase us, increase us, my family, my God, in the name of the Lord, Father, I prophesy that this year, this year. My God has ordained me for greatness. Father, therefore, I am this. 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 And church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Manifestation. I do manifestation. Father, like David, cry out, increase my great in the name of the Lord Jesus on every side. Lord, I am crying out to you. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness, my God. Increase my influence in this city. Increase my influence, my God. Increase me, increase me, increase me, increase me on every side. Lord, comfort me on every side. Lord, comfort me, my God, on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Number four, we are praying. You are saying with me, Father, I declare. That God, that God is carrying me and my family, and family with his chariot with his chariot of glory with his chariot of glory this 22 and beyond and beyond and God my God is carrying me therefore therefore my spirit shall be divine favor divine favor God God's abundant financial favor God's abundant financial favor. God's abundant financial favor. God's abundant financial favor. That is my experience. That is my experience this year. That is my experience. That this is my experience. This is my experience. This is my experience. Begin to prophesy. Prophesy right now. Prophesy right now. 
Professor, right? That God is carrying me and my family with the spirit of God is Lord, I lift international thing in many people for you right now, Lord. This is a minute that to help women be stronger in their faith, be stronger in their public God, send me to help her, send me to beneficial her, that's willing to so without being asked, God. Lord, I lift this before you and I lay it at the feet of Jesus, oh God. Lord, you know that you restrict what I'm in for me, God. I'm going to go to Jesus Christ. I thank you right now that every need will be met. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, I prophesy that every dog with this need is to come to me. I don't have to ask a better friend than you, Father. We have prayed. Jesus, amen. Number five, number five, the Bible says, You shall not suffer a wish to leave. You shall not suffer a wish to to leave. Now, if the Bible says kill which, and you kill them, that is my, that is my interpretation. You have your dif the different interpretations. Okay? If the Bible says suffer which not to leave, I know that some of you you will say that is the Old Testament. Alright? I agree with you. Okay, what about, what about Peter? Say to Ananiah and Sapphira, what did you like against the Holy Spirit? Is that, a new, is that New Testament or Old Testament? Okay, you say, all right, Peter was, <laughs> Peter, Peter was Old Testament preacher. Okay, maybe. What about Paul? What about Paul that said to that man that we're trying to pervert that man not to give not to give his life to God, that governor, he said, you shall be blind. Okay? Is that Old Testament or New? <laughs> All right. That is your interpretation. Okay? You can decide to say, oh Lord, bless them. You can decide to say, oh Lord, paralyze them. You can decide to say, oh Lord, change them. All right? Mm -hmm. But in this place, the Bible says, suffer which not to leave. In other words, if you want to enjoy peace, do you know, before David became a king, God had to remove Saul. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God will keep them. Sometimes God will kill them. Mm. Now, but our duty is to pray. It is God that answers prayer. We don't answer prayer, but God prayer but when you pray according to his will his will here says don't suffer them to leave in other words please just handle them all right we are going to handle them right now i say i decree and i declare every demonic and satanic power standing on my way Amen. Now you have the PDF file. You can take some time to pray them later. All right. We don't have more time, just watching time. I have an appointment this morning. 
I need to drive about one hour, 20 minutes or one hour, 30 minutes. So uh, <laughs> I will be going soon. So, but I would like you to take your time to please to pray. All right. We will have time together on Sunday morning. On Sunday, we will have time together. We also have time together on Saturday because I'll be free then. All right. Number six, we are going to say, Father, in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ, in I name of my destiny. My mind, I command my destiny. I command my destiny. I and shine right. Say the yeah. joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I am full of joy. 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 Of joy. Of joy. My heart is ruled. My heart is ruled with the peace of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the in the name now, number seven, number seven, number seven. We are rushing right now because we are about to close. Number seven, you are going to pray to the Father. You are going to pray for your government. You are going to pray for Father. the government officials, Father. the city officials, mm -hmm. the health care workers, the cleaners, workers, the, the cleaners, cleaners, businesses, you for the Lord. Lord. I said the Lord to save them, your president, your prime minister, your king, your uh, president, pray for them, pray for your ministry, pray for your governors, pray for those in authority, bring them before the Lord, ask the Lord to save them, ask the Lord to change them, those that are sick and morgan, ask the Lord to heal them. In the, name of in the name of Jesus, I bring our government, city officials, of healthcare Jesus. workers, teachers, cleaners, businesses in my nation, the CEO, Lord, save them. Lord, save them, Lord, save them. In bless the name of family. Jesus. Bless our president, Taiwan, Father, all her cabinet. Bless, oh Lord, the mayor of our city. Bless all yeah. the Yes, in Father, the schools, the cleaners, the healthcare workers, we pray your blessing upon them. We release your healing power upon them. The Christ will be infused into their lives right now in the name of Jesus. Now we are number eight. Number eight. You are going to declare faithful God. In a special way this year. In a special way this year. I pray for unity. FGMC Church. Pray for you. Pray for all the churches. Pray for all the churches. Pray for the churches. Church is church is like that. In the name before you right now, Lord. In the name of Faithful God, to pour out your spirit upon Fountain of Glory Miracle Center. Like never before. Bless them. Increase them, God. Increase them, Father. Increase them, Father. In the name of In the name of Jesus. Number nine. We are praying also for our church. You can also pray for your church. Use our church as a point of contact. 
to your church, all right, to all the ministries around the world as you pray for us, Fountain of Glory Miracle Center. You are saying, faithful Father, bless and guide the ministers of God. Fountain of Glory Miracle Center. Father, that they experience phenomenal growth in 2022. Lord, I declare that women out of Blessed are Amen. Father, I am called into a place of fellowship. Jesus Christ, together in this fellowship, I will be faithful to to play my part in praying, serving, and the Lord, the past is drunk. And I declare that the hatred in my home, in my workplace, in the church, to our city, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Say, so Father, I have faith. Father. I have faith that I am called to a faithful fellowship, a faithful fellowship with the Lord. A faithful fellowship with the Lord. And with his with the Lord. Son, Jesus and Christ. With his son, and with his Jesus church. Christ. Together. And with his church. Together. I will be faithful to play my role. I will be faithful to play my role. Together in this Pray for the church. 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 Pray church. As we stand together one another, God, that we are Hallelujah. And we are saying thank you, Jesus, for answering our prayer right now. Thank you, my Father, you. that you have, done, you have done us well. You have done us well. You have done us well in the name of Jesus. Us well. Father, let's declare together, this is our week of opening. Father, open that door. Thank you, Lord. Let it be open. Let it be let open. open. Let it be right open. Now, the let it be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And now I want to prophesy into your life. In less than one minute or so, we are going to be out of here. I want to prophesy. I want you to just pay attention. Don't be distracted right now. You know, the prophet said to Elisha, he said, if you see me going, in other words, pay attention. Don't be distracted. There are a lot of things that distract us, distract us especially when we pray. We're looking at cell phone. We're looking at YouTube. We're looking at our Facebook is a distraction. It's a distraction. There are many ways God answers prayer. One of the ways God answers prayer is to give you a prophetic word. One of the ways answers prayer. The number two is to give you an instruction. There are things God will say to you that answers everything. All right. And I pray for you right now that in the name of Jesus, every prayer you have prayed right now, Every prayer you have prayed today, that in the name of Jesus, you will see speedily fulfillment to this prayer. And as we declare this week as our week of opening, I pray for that unimaginable door we open for you. And I pray for you 
that the law will take your image, the law will take your picture, the law will take your telephone number, the law will take your back account, the law will take your address. It will put it in the imagination, the consciousness, the idea, the thought processing of your helpers. And your helper will begin to see you in their dreams, in their visions, in their imaginations. They'll begin to see you in their thought processes. And then they will see your telephone numbers. They will see your name. They will see your image. It will remain there until they help you. They will look for you. They will see you and they will bless you. They will favor you. This is my prayer over you. This is my prophetic pr prayer over you. This is my declaration. And I say it one more time, that in the name of Jesus, your image, your telephone number, your name, your house address, your bank account. Now the Lord will take it and put it in the visions, in the dream, in the thought, thought processes of your helpers and they will see you in their dream they will see you they will see your pictures they will see your telephone numbers they will see your name they will see your account number and then we help you they will help you they will help you they will help you they will help you help will come to you from afar and from near help will come to you help will come to you in the name of jesus all your helpers the lord gather them and bring them to you in Jesus' name. That is my prophetic prayer over you today. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and the Lord give you his perfect shalom. If you seek right now, receive the healing power of God. You are healed. You are blessed in Jesus' name. I look forward to see you tomorrow. God bless you. My time is up. I have to go. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.